Morphe is used in Ratchet and Clank to turn your enemies into chickens. No, no, wait, before you do that, just explain to me how it's going to work. Oh, it worked. <laughs> Jerry's a chicken. Are you sure we can turn him back? Welcome to Mojo Plays, and today we're ranking every Ratchet and Clank game. It's hard to believe this duo has been fighting to save the galaxy for two decades now, and as long as there's a threat to combat, these two will be there to protect all of time, space, and even different realities. What was your favorite Ratchet and Clank game? And what adventure would you like to see the duo go on next? Let us know down in the comments. Before we begin, we publish new content all week long, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. Ratchet and Clank, all for one. President Quark? President Quark? <laughs> she was taking a memo! For the tenth release in the long-running franchise, Insomniac attempted something different with its near-decade-old series by making the primarily single-player experience a cooperative one. All for One featured previously unplayable characters like Captain Quark, but also saw the duo teaming up with longtime nemesis Dr. Nefarious. Heroes teaming up with their enemy for an outing was and still is nothing new in the platform genre, and unfortunately the addition of Dr. Nefarious joining the roster did nothing to shake up the cliché very much. While still a relative commercial success, fans and critics called out the game's poor companion AI should you attempt to take on the adventure solo, as well as the game being just an unnecessary Ratchet and Clank experience. Ratchet and Clank Full Frontal Assault. Good evening, Captain. Are you ready for the longest day of your pathetic life? <gasps> If you thought All For One didn't feel like a true Ratchet & Clank game, may we present to you Full Frontal Assault. While the majority of the game still played like a traditional RNC game, complete with series trademark insane weapons and all, Full Frontal Assault also introduced tower defense gameplay sections in between the traditional run and gun gameplay. Critics did not hold back when discussing this new venture for our favorite heroes, calling out the game's lack of story, severely short length, as well as the aforementioned poorly implemented and designed tower defense sections. The only saving grace for this title was its addictive multiplayer modes, but this was unfortunately the last time a Ratchet & Clank game featured a multiplayer component to date. And the galaxy? Well, the galaxy has never been so... boring! This is just sad. Secret Agent Clank Ratchet & Clank's second adventure on Sony's PSP, and our first entry not directly developed by Insomniac Games, Secret Agent Clank expands on the Bond parody featuring Clank in Up Your Arsenal. After Ratchet is wrongfully imprisoned, it's up to Clank to solve the mystery and set Ratchet free. While gameplay primarily features Clank in the starring role, players still control Ratchet for arena combat sections, as well as even Captain Quark as the world's most unreliable narrator, replaying some of his previous exploits. Clank had access to most weapons and gadgets this time around, mostly centered around his Bond-like persona, but Giant Clank does manage to make an appearance. The game was moderately well received, but also sadly the last standalone adventure for Sony's first handheld system. Ratchet and Clank Size Matters. Hmm. <laughs> In the world of Ratchet and Clank, size definitely matters, and its impressive developer High Impact Games was able to fit what felt like a full sized RNC adventure into Sony's little handheld. Unlike their follow-up Secret Agent Clank, Size Matters featured a fully-fledged campaign with plot twists and turns and great moments for all the characters involved. Everything the series has become famous for was here, including the return of Giant Clank as well as space combat. A brief trip inside the inner workings of Clank was a particular highlight. The game was very well received and was named Handheld Game of the Year by numerous publications. Both Size Matters and Secret Agent Clank were later ported to the PS2, where neither title was received very favorably. Hey, I was just getting to the good part! He may be small, but his ego is still big, huh? <laughs>
Ratchet deadlocked. Me out of this thing, you blarg headed frack monkey! I can barely breathe and my tail feels like it's shoved right up my- <laughs> The third game in the series to receive a T rating, and the last true mainline game released on the PS2, Deadlocked took a lot of risks with the established formula that mostly paid off. Ratchet is captured and forced to compete in Dread Zone, a series of arena battles for a violent reality show audience's viewing pleasure, or else a collar strapped to his neck will explode. This wasn't the same fun, quirky adventure longtime fans were used to. Clank takes a backseat role in this adventure as players only ever control Ratchet, and Clank feeds them advice during battles. The title focused more on its large array of weapons and combat options than platforming, and vehicular combat played a much more significant role this time around. While the game was still a critical and commercial success, many took issues with Deadlock's decidedly darker tone and the sidelining of Clank. His or her collar can be detonated at any time with the push of a button. Well, there you have it. Ratchet and Clank into the Nexus. Ratchet, are you in there? I'm not coming out. You cannot stay in there forever. Yes, I can. A title that doesn't get nearly the attention it deserves, Into the Nexus is both an epilogue to the future trilogy and also ties directly into the events of the series' newest entry, Rift Apart. Ratchet continues his personal journey starting in the future trilogy of games and his quest to find other Lombaxes, which eventually leads him and Clank to the Dimensionator. Into the Nexus was viewed as a return to a classic Ratchet and Clank, with more of a focus on exotic locales and all-out mayhem with a myriad of ridiculous weapons at the player's disposal. While generally well-received and praised for being a return to form, many called out the game's surprisingly short length compared to previous entries, but it was still nonetheless a worthy send-off to the series on the PlayStation 3. Come on. We don't want to keep her waiting. Ratchet and Clank, 2016. Willful disruption of the space-time continuum? That is a funny story. You're reckless. You're a loose cannon, and you're dangerous. That's my shtick. A reimagining of the original 2002 release, as well as a tie-in game for the animated feature film of the same name. While undeniably a graphical powerhouse with the power of the PS4 producing visuals this series had always aimed for, somehow this reimagining managed to lose what made the original adventure of this unlikely duo so engaging and timeless. While the changes to the story were made most likely to bring it in line with the movie, doing so changed the characters' dynamics with each other, and while the game was still a fantastic overall package, with its use of inventive weapons being a major standout, it lacked the heart of the original title all those years ago. While you'd be doing yourself a favor avoiding the movie, Ratchet & Clank 2016 is still a worthy adventure. Fame is overrated, especially when you're famous for causing a complete disaster. It was not a complete disaster. Authorities are calling it a complete and utter disaster. As... Ratchet and Clank, Quest for Booty. Ah! Guys, I'm not looking for any... Trouble. More of an interlude than a full-blown sequel in the future saga, Quest for Booty focuses solely on Ratchet's journey to find Clank after he was taken by the Zoni at the end of Tools of Destruction. Far shorter than most Ratchet and Clank titles, but thankfully also priced accordingly, Quest for Booty also focused more on puzzle solving and platforming gameplay than the traditional run and insane gunplay of most of the mainline entries. The only title on our list only made available digitally, Quest for Booty might have been a smaller adventure than a true follow-up, but nonetheless is an important entry that helped bring our favorite galaxy-saving duo back together again. Hang on, Clank. I'm coming. Ratchet and Clank, 2002. By the time Ratchet and Clank released on the PS2, gamers had already been introduced to the platforming shenanigans of Jack and Daxter. But where that title focused more on traditional platforming, Ratchet and Clank brought an entire arsenal of unique weapons and gadgets unlike any platforming game up to that point. The odd pairing of a Lombax and a malfunctioning little robot seemed at odds with one another, but as their journey continued and their friendship grew, the pair became instantly endearing in the hearts of players. 
While there were undoubtedly some rough edges that future series in the franchise would smooth out and expand upon, for their first adventure together, these two definitely hit the ground running, and even managed to outlive their competition in the process. You will bring me more raritanium. You can't be serious. Ah, well, I tried. Ratchet and Clank Future, Tools of Destruction. Nothing I can't handle, mind you, just a few thousand heavily armed robotic commandos, but I figured, hey, if you were in the neighborhood, maybe... <laughs> As the first entry in the franchise on Sony's brand new hardware, Insomniac Games set out to create a benchmark title that could finally match their graphical ambitions they set out to achieve on the PS2. And boy did they deliver. With vibrant and diverse worlds, fun, new, and interesting allies with their own backstories, and a more personal story for both Ratchet and Clank, Tools of Destruction cemented the series as a mainstay and a bold new direction for the franchise. Lauded by critics for its consistently inventive gameplay and weapons, the game went on to win numerous awards and was commercially one of the best-selling titles in the series up to then. Well, good luck, James. What just happened? Ratchet and Clank going commando. We're still pretty busy, but in a more um, domestic sense. Yesterday, I flushed out my radiator core. Arriving only a year after the first Ratchet & Clank game, it's impressive just how much the team in Insomniac was able to improve on the formula laid out in the original. The simple addition of a strafe mechanic opened up all new combat opportunities and made mowing down the many hordes of enemies with your ever-increasing inventory of weapons a blast. Literally. Going Commando also improved story-wise with better writing and the character dynamic between Ratchet & Clank was also vastly improved. The title also expanded on its minigame selection as well, by introducing more vehicle sections as well as the ability to level up your weapons simply by using them, granting them experience to become even greater weapons of destruction. Ratchet and Clank laid the groundwork, but Going Commando made the series one of the best franchises in Sony's library. Ratchet checking in, sir. Incredulous! I didn't expect to hear from you again! Uh, so soon. Ratchet and Clank rift apart. Of our parade, Ratchet Ratchet and Clank. The latest entry in the long-running franchise, Rift Apart plays like a greatest hits of everything that came before it, as well as implementing some new and exciting mechanics only possible on the new PlayStation 5 hardware. Picking up right after the events of Into the Nexus, told you it was important, Dr. Nefarious separates our heroes with his stolen Dimensionator and begins ripping holes throughout space and time leading Clank to find and team up with another Lombax, Rivet. The ability to warp across the map added new strategic depth to combat encounters, and while the story might not have hit as many high points as previous entries, still managed to be an emotional journey for our heroes, new and returning. The gunplay and platforming are as solid as ever, and the diversity of the worlds is second to none. Here's to another two decades of adventures with our favorite odd couple. You really are a couple of hot shots. Ratchet and Clank, a crack in time. Greetings, my old friend. Been a long time. I'm thrilled you're here to witness my greatest triumph. As the last main chapter of the future trilogy, a crack in time more than delivered on the promises of the previous two entries. The story of Ratchet's search for the Lombaxes and Clank's true destiny came to a head, and both have to make heartbreaking decisions that could impact them forever. While a good majority of the game has the two separated, both get new abilities to help them compensate for traversing the world without one another, and A Crack in Time features some of the best puzzle design in the series for Clank's exploration and eventual repair of the Great Clock. A Crack in Time played to the series' strengths, and while it might not have innovated as much as previous entries, its focus on the personal relationships and journeys of these two unlikely heroes is still regarded as one of the greatest in the series. The universe will need a true hero to stop it. Are you ready? Ratchet and Clank, up your arsenal. Oh yeah, I bet you didn't see that one coming. 
Hey, uh, what are you doing? Check and make. What? Th th that's cheating! On the contrary. Going only from strength to strength, the team at Insomniac Games definitely lived up to their namesake and managed to once again one-up themselves despite all the previous improvements made in Going Commando. Up Your Arsenal expanded on all that came before despite its relatively short development time. With more weapons, bigger environments, impressive 2D sections featuring Captain Quark's early adventures, as well as not only the introduction of series mainstay villain Dr. Nefarious, but also the first title in the series to feature online multiplayer. Almost two decades later and 14 mainline games, Up Your Arsenal is still the benchmark the series has been chasing, and we can't wait to continue to follow the exploits of a Lombax and his little robot companion. Give a warm welcome to Ratchet! Do you agree with our picks? Don't forget to stick around and check out our other videos on Mojo Plays.